Hey guys, it's Abdallah here with a Mario Kart 8 hidden stats video. Now, if you guys have played Mario Kart 7, you guys know that each of the kart combinations have a hidden attribute that either helps them or hinders them in a specific way in a specific category. Now, if you guys take a look at the kart customization screen, you really only have five uh, classifications. You have speed, acceleration, weight, handling, and traction, but there are hidden stats of underwater speed, air speed, ground speed, underwater handling, handling in the air, handling on the ground, and a mini turbo stat. With that being said, if you guys take a look right over here on screen right now is actually the chart that shows off all of those speeds. Uh, so thanks to Prima Guides and Weiyoshi M for actually putting them in an awesome uh, table with uh, retyped pretty colors, as you can see up top there, so uh, shoutouts to you guys. But just take a look at it. Um, it has all of the heavyweight characters kind of grouped together. Um, although there are a lot of them, they're actually grouped up into three groups there. Uh, there's a low tier, a middle tier, and a high tier of the heavyweight class. Um, same thing with um, the light characters. They're really light. There's really light, and there's light, and then medium, there's kind of like... Um, two classifications there. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and if you look all the way over to the right, you see the total amount of raw stats that they give out. And that's just all together. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're the best, but that's just what they give out. So depending on how you play, you may want to switch up your cart character to someone that you um, see that matches your actual play style. Uh, Alright, so taking a look at the types of body, um, as you guys know from playing the game, a lot of the carts are the exact same. They just look different. Uh, with that being said, they grouped them all together. So Standard Cart, Prancer, Cat Cruiser, Sneaker, those guys all have the exact same stats. Same thing with Gold Standard, Mach 8, Circuit Special, Sports Coupe, same stats. Bandwagon, Tri-Speeder, Steel Driver, same thing. And Bitty Buggy Land Ship. Um, okay, you guys get the point. You guys can read that. But just taking a look at that, um, you can see that they are very different. Now, taking a look at the total amount, it looks like out of all those carts, uh, it looks like the Biddy Buggy seems to be giving off the most stats with 3.5, which is pretty good. But like I said, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best cart out there. As you guys know from watching time trial videos, the fastest cart out there is your Gold Standard Mach 8 Circuit Special Sports Coupe class, uh, which gives off that extra speed. Uh, and with that being said, you know, that is the best for doing time trials on, you know, um, non-underwater levels. Now, if you're looking at an underwater cart, there is a speed underwater and a handling underwater stat that one category of carts in particular does exceptionally well, and that is the bandwagon, the tri-speeder, and the steel driver. They have the .5 points in, uh, in speed underwater, and at the same time, they have um, handling 0.75 underwater, so they're a little bit more maneuverable. With that being said, if you guys are going to be time trialing in those underwater levels, like possibly um, uh, Dolphin Shoals, um, you definitely want to use that cart. So you can also take a look at some carts that really don't give off anything. Um, so there's really no point in using them. Um, case in point, the very first one, which is a standard cart. Uh, Prancer, Cat Cruiser, Sneaker class. It doesn't give off any stats. Same thing with the Duke, which is the bike, and the ATV, the Teddy Buggy. So, I mean, using those carts would definitely put you at a disadvantage. I don't really see a point in using them. So when picking a cart for uh, something to main, aside from visual aesthetics, uh, those carts are really pointless to use. All right, now taking a look at tires. Now... As you can kind of guess, the standard tires, uh, the blue, the retro off-road, off-road, and blue standard uh, don't really give off that much um, stats, which is kind of weird. But um, taking a look, you would think that the monster tires would be really awesome like they were in Mario Kart 7, but they really just deter you. They only give you .75 in traction, but they take away all your handling in the air, the water. They take away some weight. They take away some ground speed. They're really not cool. Now, as you guys know, in time trials, typically 90% of the time, you're going to be using these slick or cyber slick wheels simply because it gives you a boost in speed along with a boost in mini turbo, which is great, but doesn't really help out anywhere else. 
the roller wheels, as I was talking about earlier, the roller wheels are pretty awesome. They give you a lot of good stats. They give you one in acceleration. They give you a little bit more water and airspeed, a little bit more handling in water, and they give you a 1.5 mini turbo stat, which is epic, uh, considering if you guys are power sliding around every single turn like you should be. So that is pretty epic, and that's good to know. Crimson Slim is definitely a decent tire, as you can see. It gives off uh, two whole stats. Um, gives you a little bit more mini turbo. Uh, gives you a little bit more speed, so that is a good all-round uh, tire if you want to use that. And then the metal and the gold wheels, kind of very similar to the Crimson Slim and the Slim, but they don't give you any mini turbo, which is kind of lame. Um, and then the wood sponge and cushion wheels, they're really, I mean, not that great, just judging by the stats. So there you have it. Um, now also, one of the most important points over here is taking a look at the uh, acceleration gliders versus the speedy gliders. Now there's really only two classifications of gliders, unfortunately, in this game, kind of like there was in Mario Kart 7. I wish they would have expanded that a little bit, but who cares? <laughs> the game's already done. Now taking a look at the, the gliders, the speedy gliders, they only give you .25 airspeed, and that's it. But if you take a look at the acceleration gliders, the Flower, Peach Parasol, MK Parafoil, uh, Bowser Kite, and the Cloud, those things give you a little bit more handling in the air, a little bit more acceleration, and a little bit more mini turbo. So I really don't see a point in using those speedy ones unless you're doing a time trial in a level where you're in the glider a lot. But anyway, that's it. So now those are the tools that will help you decide what character and cart combination you want to use. By all means, I've got a, uh, an acceleration video on the way, so definitely take a look at that. Now it's time to look at some real examples within the game. Alright, so now for a visual example, we've got Donkey Kong over here, and he is that cruiser class along with Waluigi, Rosalina, and Roy Koopa. They're still classified as heavy, but they're at the lower tier of the heavyweight class. Now, I'm actually leaning towards using these characters simply because they have a lot higher of a mini turbo stat than the very heavyweight classes. Um, this is just, I'm speaking in terms of going online with. Uh, because if you're time trialing, you have to always use the heavyweight classes, Wario, Bowser, Morton, and your heavy me. But just looking at it, the, according to the chart, uh, this cruiser class has got 2.25 mini turbo versus the 1.75. And plus, handling is a little bit better as well. Um, acceleration is one point higher, or 0.25 higher, but that really doesn't matter because of the acceleration tiers. If you guys didn't see that acceleration tier video, definitely go check it out. I've got that on my channel. So, this is a pretty awesome cart combo. I've been leaning towards using this one online. It hits the third tier in acceleration, and it's pretty quick as well. Um, and just looking at the actual uh, gliders, you got the speedy ones versus the acceleration ones, there's really no point in using the speedy gliders. You know, like this one over here, there's no point in it. You get a little bit more weight, but you, uh, you sacrifice a little bit of acceleration, um, and you get... Yeah, you don't get any handling in the air, you don't get a little bit boost in mini turbo, so I really don't see a point in using these gliders, like the standard glider or uh, the Wario glider, unless you've got a really, I guess, good air track level and you need more weight. But another good combo, just taking a look at it, um, I was looking at the Biddy Buggy or the Land Ship. These are identical carts over here, they share the same family. And busting this out with any wheel is pretty awesome because the land ship and the biddy buggy actually give a huge boost. Uh, they give a huge boost in mini turbo. They give you one whole point. That's like four little bars. That's four, yeah, four little pieces in mini turbo. So that's amazing. And if you pair that up with the um, roller wheels... Uh, the roller wheels actually give you a bunch more. I'm just looking at the chart right now. Roller wheels, bam, 1.5 in mini turbo. That is awesome. The roller wheels are definitely giving the most stats off. So, I mean, even busting out this combo is awesome. Um, and obviously with the acceleration, if I only had a little bit more acceleration, I would hit tier 5. 
but maybe if I drop down a, a class, I could do that. Uh, but yeah, just taking a look around, even with like the blue standard wheels, um, although it doesn't give any mini turbo, I mean, the only wheels that give mini turbo are the Cyber Slick, right over here. Yep, Cyber Slick give out mini turbo, and your Crimson Slim and your Wood Sponge and Cushion wheels. So those classifications do that. But I would say this would be a good cart combo to take online because it gives you the speed. Um, you're in tier 3 of acceleration and you've got decent handling and traction. So this would be a pretty good uh, cart combo as well. Alright, well with that being said, let me know what cart combos you guys enjoy playing with. Um, those two, as you guys can see, these are my favorite ones. Um, Land Ship, Slick, and Cloud Glider, or any of the light gliders, it doesn't matter. Mario Kart TV is pretty cool. And I like using the gold cart along with the roller wheels and the uh, light glider as well. So there we have it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video on the hidden stats. I thought that it was an awesome video, and now that I know about these things, it'll make me think twice about picking a cart combination online or in time trial mode. So if you guys enjoyed it, by all means, click on that like button and help share the video, especially if you learned something from it. Uh, if you guys are looking for more Mario Kart 8 footage or Mario Kart in general, de definitely take a look at my channel where we've got all generations of Mario Kart played on it. It's awesome. Uh, if you guys want more tips and tricks videos, I got a lot more coming. I got so many things that I want to cover and so little time to do it. So stay tuned throughout the next couple weeks and we will knock out all of the tips and tricks to make you a Mario Kart 8 Pro. I'll talk to you guys later, and don't forget to subscribe for more Mario Kart. See ya.